The vast majority of my mixing and mastering clients are musicians and songwriters that have recorded their own music from home and have sent me their mix to finish. And that's the case here with this song. So I usually find that I need to do a little prep work in advance to get the song ready for mixing, including cleaning up some of the edits, consolidating some of the recordings, and removing any unwanted plugins and effects. One thing I've already done off screen is consolidate some of her vocal tracks. Originally, she had about 10 or 11 vocal tracks with some of these sections split up on different tracks. I've consolidated these down to a verse and bridge track, four vocals that are stacked in the chorus, an additional harmony track, and a vocal effects track. This will end up being a glitchy pitch shifted effect for the intro and right after the first chorus. And I'll demonstrate this later on in this course. But first, let's give this a listen as is. Yeah, we can do a lot better than that, but it is important to listen to the musician's original reference mix because a lot of times they're trying to mix the sound that they're looking for, but maybe they don't have the ear or the mixing experience to get it quite right. I usually ask my clients to do a quick wave or MP3 bounce of their mix of the song as well, so I can use it as a reference. If I press X to pull up the mixer, you'll also see that there are a lot of plugins that are third-party plugins that I don't have. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just press Command A to select all of the tracks in the mixer, click on one of these channel strip setting tabs, and then go down to remove all effects plugins. This was a new addition to Logic 10.5. So this will remove all of the effects plugins all at once, and then I can click here again and select remove all sends. This will remove all of the effects sends as well. So now I'm just down to the raw tracks, with just volume and panning. So I'm gonna option click on all of these. This will set all the volumes to unity. And I'll also option click on the pan knobs to set all of the panning to center. I'll also go ahead and delete any unwanted auxiliary channels as well. So just click delete on those and then click delete anyway. Now, when it comes to software instruments, she's mostly using stock Logic plugins, so that's no problem at all. But she does have this Labs instrument, but fortunately, this is a free instrument and sample collection from Spitfire Audio, so I was just able to download these, and they work just fine. Typically, what I'll do with most clients is I'll tell them to bounce in place any third-party instruments that I don't have. And the way you can do that is just select a track, press Control-B to bring up the Bounce in Place dialog, Give it a name and click OK. And what this will do is bounce all of the regions in that track down to audio so you don't have to worry about the software instrument at all. Next, I want to remove any track automation that's in the mix. I want to start completely from scratch. So if I press A, I'll see that she's already made some volume adjustments with automation. So what I'll do is I'll go up to Mix, go down to Delete Automation, and select Delete All Track Automation and that'll get rid of all of the automation, or at least all the track automation in the mix. And I'll just double check and make sure there isn't any region automation because this function does not delete region automation, but it looks like we're good here. Lastly, I want to consolidate some of her recordings, in particular, these guitar parts and these vocal parts. So the guitar parts look pretty easy. It looks like they've got fades on them, but she's looped several different sections here, which has just created some short loops. What I find is that artists will often make the fades in between their loops a bit too long. So what I like to do is select them all, go over to the region inspector over here, and then set the fade out type to X for crossfade. And then I'll set like a six or eight millisecond fade and what that does is just creates a real short crossfade in between each of these loops. And then I'll just drag over each of these sections and press J. And what this will do is it will join each of these groups of regions together and just consolidate them all together. So this is, again, something I like to do just for cleanliness and peace of mind. Now, when it comes to her vocal tracks, she's got some weird edits in here, in particular, these crossfades that are sort of going over gaps. 
So what I'll do with the chorus vocals is I'll select all of these tracks and I'm gonna use a function under edit. If you go down to trim, there's an option that says region end to next region. And what that does is it trims up the end of a region to the front end of the next region. And then same as I did before with the guitars, I like to set a crossfade on each of these that's very short, like six or eight milliseconds, just like so. And if I need to later on, I can go in and I can trim out some of the silence. But I found with musicians, sometimes they're not expert editors. And so you'll end up with ends of phrases and ends of words that get sort of cut off prematurely. So I want to avoid that here. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did before with the guitars. Drag over these, just press J to join each of these sections. And you'll see it joins them by track. And then I'll do the same thing for all of the verse vocals. This time I'll use the key command, which is shift backslash, that will trim up the end of each of these regions. And then what I like to do is go in and just sort of clean up some of these edits. I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to be there, so I'll just kind of pull that in. I'll just clean up this edit here. There we go. Just make sure that nothing gets cut off. So when we go back in and do our edit while we're mixing the vocals. It's as clean as possible, but we don't lose any of the vocal content in the take. After I've cleaned up all of the vocal edits, I'll do the same thing. Just drag over each section and press J to join these and consolidate them in place. All right, so now the project has been prepped and is ready for mixing.